Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Chasu and I'm bringing you Dungeon of the Endless Playthrough slash semi-tutorial on floor 11. I have to say I'm pretty excited because it's, I'll be honest, very rare I get over here. Usually I die on floor 10, usually. Not always, but most of the time I'm not afraid to admit it. And getting over here is a pretty decent achievement. Obviously I have been playing less of single player nowadays because I'm recording this session so I could not play by myself. And then multiplayer things are significantly more difficult because your partner is usually retarded. So I'm really happy to see that I was able to make it this far. We're almost free from this evil place. So let's go ahead and start by making an industry module. The food, or rather dust situation, is pretty bad, obviously, as you would expect it to be on this floor, but it also could be worse. Now people are just gonna stay here and work while the rest of the heroes are gonna hope to find some more dust, which is a possibility in this room. Oh, I wish I could defend in here. I can't, though. So, whatever. Uh, out of the two of you, you look like a less of a fighter, so you will stay in here and you will continue opening doors and stay in the dark rooms. And there was power in here. I'm rather happy about it. A bit of extra resources as well. Again, a pretty good deal in my book. I will need some extra industry, I think. Of course, I, my death situation is not the best. And I will need food as a result. So I'm gonna go ahead and start working on food for the time being until I know for a fact I have more deaths. Because right now it seems to be a problem. Is there even a major module here? It's hard to tell, but I don't think there is. Alright, you stay in there. You go up and see what is in there. Maybe there will be a major... Actually, even if there is a major module, then it doesn't matter. I'll continue exploring over here until I reach the end and I'll treat this as the area I explore in. And if I have enough dust to power some rooms, then I'll open other doors and power those other doors instead. No mobs! Alright, I ain't gonna complain about that, honey. I will create a pepper spray already, though, because you never know. You never know, it's better to be safe than sorry. So let's go ahead and finish making that. Let's go ahead and open another door. So far, so easy. A merchant. Alright, I can sell him the thing I bought. Oh no, never mind. I am using the quick draw actually. Widower Maker. It actually increases my DPS by an effing ton. It does cost pretty much all the industry I have. Not quite, but close to it at any rate. Still though, the increase in DPS is worth it because, yeah, she will need all the DPS I can possibly get. So I'm gonna get the Widower Maker. What else do they have? Happy pills? They give me what? Uh, weight and attack power. Not bad. Not what I'm willing to spend industry on, and 2-2, extra defense, extra speed. Again, not for hell, she doesn't even wear those kind of things. But Widower Maker, sure. Let's get that, that's a ton of my industry, but I am going to equip it. I wonder for how much the rest one is gonna sell. I hope for a lot. 20. Seriously? 20 for something this beastly? I hope you die. In fact, you, I know you will die, so this makes me rather happy, but you are insane. Anyway, we've got the Widower Maker. I'm of course kind of slow, but my DPS is really, really nice. Especially once I continue leveling my, when I continue leveling up my hero, it's gonna be even nicer. Not by a lot, but still. So there is that. Anything else? Uh, well, nothing. Let's just get this merchant killed now, shall we? Because he deserves it. We all know it. So this door has nothing in it except for monsters that spawned in a different area. It's fine though. Let's pull back. You have done your job. You can run now. And, oh no, you're being killed? What a shame, I could save him, maybe. Ah, it's too late. The pack is dead. Alright, never mind then. If I have to spend food just because I thought about selling this guy, I'm gonna be rather annoyed. Nah, I'm fine though. It's good. Yeah, no, 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 no. You should be confused. Like you are right now. Yeah, good job, good job. Be confused. Nice, thank you. Goodbye. See ya in hell. Right, so far, so good. I still need more deaths, but obviously that is a frequent problem on those later levels. I don't feel the need to create an emergency generator just yet, so I'll continue walking along. And this is a very long room, so in order to get back to where I am, it's gonna be pretty tough. So what I think I'm gonna do is create some more turrets while I still have the chance. Uh, Neurostone is not what I need. Terragas, however, by all means, let's create one of that. Tesla Modus Falls or Smoking Gun 3? Smoking Gun 3 is... Uh, at the point where I think they are good enough to make instead of Tesla modules, maybe. Not too sure about that. I mean, maybe... 
let's make him. I mean, once monsters get to this room, I'll need something like panicky, and smoking guns are the definition of a panic gun. They are really good for a while, and then they suddenly are worthless. Good, good, good. That's exactly what I needed. Oops, no, no, no. I do want to power you. Can you get to this room and interrupt any mob spawns in time? No, you cannot. That is the answer to this question. Well, at least we know that now. You're a worthless piece of BS. It's okay, though. How are you doing? You're fine-ish to a certain degree. The turrets are doing a decent enough job, I guess. Indeed, they are. They're not even overheating, so that's good. Neris is taking some dead, but that's okay. And you... She could probably even take those monsters on her own, but let's not even bother. With the smoking guns, I can take everything that comes into this room, and because I can repair my turrets, it's okay. Alright, so there is that. I can open even more rooms. This is getting really tricky, but because I get more dust, it's fine. Actually, I do have more dust, so I can open another room and maybe get another major module, which would be rather useful, if you don't mind me saying. I'm not gonna make any major, minor modules in here. I don't feel like I need it. So far, the combination I have is good enough for me, with the smoking guns and really good heroes, so good. Major module, exactly what I needed. Thank you very much. No monsters? Nope, no monsters indeed. Of course, they spawned in every room they possibly could have, but that's to be expected on floor 11. Things are always a little bit on the tough side over here. Not something I'm too concerned about. A really powerful kamikaze is in the room, but we can kill him rather quickly because of the... Ooh. You be careful, lady. Because of the smoke guns, you actually run to here! Hey, that was too close. But she's okay now. There are other mobs coming. Oh, it's those guys. Hey, you run, dear lady. You don't have a lot of health, but they will be killed rather quickly. Nice! So far, so good. You go back to this room. And I have even more dust so I can continue opening this door, which is rather spectacular. I'll make another industry generator now that I know that I do have the dust to support more generators. And I do need another industry generator. And it is gonna take me forever to find the exit anyway. So I need to make as many industry generators as possible so that I do have a good enough economy to get to the late game. And find the exit. Alright, an item room. And no spawns! Wow, that is rather lucky. Riot gear, that makes me super slow, but it's also very defensive. <coughs> Not gonna complain about that. Can't give it to the nurse. Uh, it would level her DPS by 14, which is a lot, but increase by her defense by a bajillion. Let's have a quick look. Does this look attack with a nail? So in this case, I'm gonna give that to you, because it only lowers your DPS by 8. And you have to stay in the room anyway, so you need the defense more. And you can have this for extra defense, but still gonna be packing quite a bit of a punch. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Those heroes are pretty defensible. I'm not sure why I paused this game to begin with, to be honest, but that's okay. The part is, part is, you move back one room, and in here I'm gonna make another food module. I could make a land module and start making emergency generators. I don't feel like I need to do that though just yet. I'm doing well enough as it stands. Those modules are doing just fine. Things are looking okay. I'm willing to take a bit of a risk. For science and stuff. Glory, maybe. Anyway, I cannot level her up, unfortunately. It costs for effing... Not for effing everybody, it costs a lot. That said, it would give me access to level 2 of dust cells, which only slightly increases the health region and def defense in powered rooms. But even the slight increase in health region is a pretty big deal, especially for somebody with 26 health region. So, yeah, I kind of want that. Alright, what else can I or want, do I want to do? Not much, honestly. <coughs> so let's keep on opening doors. Oh, is it the dead end? Yes, it is a dead end. That's not very good. Any spawns? No, no spawns. In this case, I didn't need to waste my ability. I don't know why I did it, I just kind of did it. Wow. Way to go. Now I have to wait three doors to activate it again when I really do need it. Or spend a ton of science on it, which is 18 science. Yeah, the problem with Elise, one only problem, is that once she gets on those high levels, it's gonna cost a ton of science to reset her skills. But hey, those skills are usually worth it, so... It is, to a certain degree, excusable. More dust, that's rather splendid. Can you prevent the mobs from spawning? It looks like you can, maybe. 
and uh, they just all spawned in all the rooms they possibly could have spawned in. So you run back while you still can, thank you very much. And if possible, I'll probably try to use this uh, science machine. So I'll probably make a gen emergency generator here. Can I even do that though? It's hard to say, it's too dark right now. Anyway, you run back for them for now. Those guys I might need to use shop now on. Nah, it's fine. The terrorists will now focus on them. Even if they do blow up, which they didn't, it would have been fine. Okay, turrets, one of them did overheat, but the areas are still going, so it is absolutely fine. Yeah. Not gonna lie, things are going okay. Now, the nurse did take quite a bit of damage, I'm not gonna lie about that either, but because of the placebo effects, I have double placebo in this room, don't I? Yeah, I should have double placebo. So, I'm pretty good. As you can see, each placebo gives extra 10 health regen, so this girl has 20. Plenty of health regen for everybody. In fact, she has, in this room, 36, which actually is not that amazing, considering it's her, but still. Okay, can I make an emergency generator in this room? No, there is no major module in here. So I can't really secure this research station. It's okay, it doesn't actually... Uh, uh, it does have nice research, but even then, I cannot actually use it. I'll keep it for when I exit this floor, and then I guess I'll research whatever is inside of here. It's fine, it's still okay. Okay, no exit of course, but I'm not expecting to find one so quickly. That would be rather lucky. And oh, I forgot to put the nurse in the good room. And I forgot I have enough dust to power another room. And they spotted every single room they could have. Oh, in this case, prisoner prods, because they can be made really quickly. And I need to slow down the enemy mobs quite a bit. That was a big mistake. I... It wasn't supposed to happen, but it just did. Okay, for now it's okay. More mobs coming. You just try to slow down the enemy because those suiciders are gonna be a pain and I need to deal with them quite badly. Alright, also I do not dare to walk through this room. I would need to heal up to do this. <gasps> That's an elite suicider. I think I can deal with him. Yeah, I can. Another one, it's okay. I will be able to deal with him as well. Okay, those guys. I'm still not willing to enter this room. It's a little bit too scary to my lacking. And now I can try. Yeah, she's got a pretty beastly DPS, so she can handle those mobs now with the help of the turrets and whatnot. And I can level her up as well to give her even more health regen. So let's do just that. 28 health regen on her own, and with help she would have even more. So that's pretty beastly, if you don't mind me saying. Pretty beastly indeed. Of course, I do want her to keep the first aid kit. Alright, so I'll keep opening the doors, put her back here, and actually, no, 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 I will not keep opening doors, I'll open a different door. Over there on the top, to the left of the top, in fact. Because left is always best. Why? Because obviously left is best. I mean, do you need any other reason? I think I explained it kind of well. Now the thing is, I need to walk quite a distance to get to this room with her. But I can juggle with Nurse. She's only level 7, but she... Everybody can juggle if you're good with it. As long as you don't get hit, right? It's still fine. So... Ooh, the chef! Now I'm not gonna hire him. I'm not gonna hire him because I don't have the food, I cannot afford to do this, but if I lose a hero, he'll be awesome. Absolutely amazing and stellar. Chef is great. He's got a really powerful ability that damages everybody. Every, I mean, enemy. Every enemy that there is. And it's a pretty strong damaging ability as well. Basically, the she I, I love Chef quite a lot. Unfortunately, he fulfills more or less the same role as the explosive lady, so I don't have a very big use out of him. But still, it's nice to know that he's here. I'll make another food replicator, and the next module I make is probably gonna be the land module. But right now, I need to have as much food as I possibly can get. And yes, I know I'm not using the nest to get any research done, or operate any modules, rather. It's fine, I really do need to make sure that she stands in the dark, because otherwise the waves would be just too overpoweringly strong for me. I just have to play it smart. It's fine if I only have two operators. They're still very good operators on their own. Alright, a bit more science, any more spawns? Yes, indeed, so drop the science, we start running back ASAP. You, dear lady, need to get the ev out of here and start juggling already. Uh, maybe start juggling in here. Uh, actually, start juggling in here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, lose, not lose, use paramedic. It actually works on the entire floor, but only slightly. But as long as I can, she's a bit too fast to my liking, honestly. 
I need a slower here. All right, there are vast next. They slow me down. Good. I don't see what is happening in the other room, but I assume it's good things. If I could, I would pause the game. Wait, I can't pause the game. It's fine. But firstly, though, I want this uh, Kamikaze to die, and then I'm gonna send Ellie into this room to clear it out. Or I can just walk into this room, now walk in here, and send her to do the daddy work. Like so. Alright, that's good. She packs quite a bit of a punch, so she should be more or less fine. I am losing Prisoner Pearls. Oh no, what am I going to do with that? I'll tell you what, nothing whatsoever, I will not even be bothered by it. Alright, do you actually have more wit? You've got 13, she's got 15. No, so why were you operating? Oh, because the other lady was repairing, that's why. Alright, you. No, you, please repair everything there is to repair. Do you have enough dust to power another room on top? N I mean, yes I do, once I do that. Is there a major module in there? I think there is. I'll check in a second anyway. Uh, you can walk up there. There's no reason why I should send a slower hero. <coughs> no! Ooh, that was close. I almost lost an operator because I confused the portrait. It happens, I guess. <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. I need to drink a bit more water. And a major module. Very nice. I still don't think I need a metal module. Sorry, the grid is getting the best of me, but really... Mm -hmm. It's so far so good, and I need the food. Mm. Water is good. Fortunately, I have no more water in my house, so that's it. Of course, there is tap water, but I'll tell you one thing about tap water. It can be healthy. I mean, depending on the country you live in. In Poland, it's not a problem. You can drink tap water uh, every day and you'll be fine. But... It's not nearly as delicious as bottled water, as in properly bottled water from a company that actually sells you proper water instead of tap water in bottles. And I do know those companies and yeah, I'm addicted to their water, what can I say? When it comes to water, I have very profound taste, I would say. I'm very picky when it comes to my water and I only drink the best, sorry. Unless I of course have no, no choice. Green fairy tales, they are related to operating, aren't they? Master Hacker, yeah. Master Hacker increases your wit when you repair things. Kind of worthless, but it does give you sex wit. Which is nice. So what I am going to do, since you're not operating anything, you're gonna get this thing, and he's gonna get that. So you get that, you get this. She loses a bit of speed and wit, but at the same time she still gives everybody plus two wit. And the P-Bot is a bit better because of the extra wit that Green Fairy Tales gave, it, gave him. Actually, that's only a plus one wit, which doesn't matter whatsoever. Uh, oh, this gives more wit. Alright, that's good. She loses a bit of health region, but she still has some because of the nurse and the other lady, so that's good. Nano Bros. Can I give Nano Bros. Oh, even more Nano Bros to her? And I don't think this would Nana. It's not as good as the first aid kit. I'm tempted to give the extra nano bros to somebody just because they're nano bros, but nah. Not really worth it. I think the item setup I have right now is good enough. Alright, that's good. Can I open another door or do I have enough dust to open a new door on top? I don't. So let's open another door. Thankfully it's not dead end. I say thankfully because I want to be able to continually open doors on top. I mean, uh, continually be able to explore bottom if at all possible. Alright, you run. And you will probably need to heal, unfortunately. There is little I can do about it. I can power this room, however. Which is rather important because it does mean that she'll be able to heal up faster. Uh, let's not even bother. Sharpener. Oh, it wasn't actually enough. It's at the stage of the game where you need sharpener level 3 in order to actually be effective in any way, shape or form. Alright, uh, I think I have those guys locked up pretty nicely. Let's make the prison prods. I'm not gonna make anything better in here because this room is always gonna be the room that stays under attack constantly and will keep losing the threats, so... Three prison prods, good enough. You can hit easily, regain your health, nice. And be careful because he almost died with a second of fighting, it's okay though. If I just continue doing this every now and again it should be fine. And now we have way too much health regen. I'm of course losing the turrets, but it's still okay. Now, I do not want to lose those turrets because it is a bit of industry I could save up on, so... Oh, oh, that was close. 
So I'll make sure that the turrets stay alive. I'll repair them. And the beard are satisfied with how things are going. I do have enough dust to power up another room on top, which is good. That's what I'll do. So you go all the way over there and hope for another room with major module in. I don't think I'll be this lucky to get one, but you know, I can always try and, and hope for the best. There's no point in not doing so, right? Otherwise, I'll find a worthless room that I'll power at regardless, and it's still gonna be fine-ish. All right, exercise. I'm not gonna say no to that. I'll be able to research something or reset my abilities if necessary. Things are looking up so far, if I can say so myself. Open another door, see what is behind it. Something nice, maybe? A dead end? I'm not gonna say no to that. Power up this room. You get to this room ASAP, prevent some spawns if possible. I had no spawns, in fact, whatsoever. That's pretty peachy, if you ask me. And even if you don't, I'll still say that it's pretty peachy. No major module, but it is a dead end, and I'm satisfied with it. I could get turrets in here and leave this room dark, but uh, we are on level 11. It's too risky. I'm not even gonna try doing that. So let's open this door. Another research station, but this one, unlike this one, is easily defensible. So, any spawns? No, no spawns. Wow, okay. So let's start the research. I think I have enough... For smoking gun 4, I don't have enough for pepper spray 4 and I will not have enough for quite some time. Now the difference between pepper spray 4 and 3, how big is it? That's 4 attack cooldown, 21 seconds, 3.5 and 30 seconds. Wow. Wow. Ow. Smoking gun 4 though, that's how quick we look at that. That's 6.175, 6.175. 6 and over here is five seconds. Ha ha ha. Let me see. Let me see. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna get smoking gun. Pepper spray 4 is really awesome. But I don't have the science for it right now. I could wait. Pepper spray 4 is so, so, so useful though. But smoking gun, I think, is gonna pay off better. Just slightly better. It, not by much. But it is gonna be, it is gonna make a difference. And that's good enough for me. Let's power up this room, make it secure. And after I'm done with this research, I'll destroy this science uh, station and make a major module in there. And when I escape, if I have enough science, I'll use this science station to get what I need. Because keep in mind, I'll instantly unlock whatever I want to when I try to leg it. Uh, what will be my next, ooh. Oh yeah, I will get another pepper spray if I have the science for it. It's unlikely I would need to make a research science creator in order to even hope for a pepper spray, but I don't think I'll do it. It's amazing, pepper spray level 4, but getting science sta creation station just to get... Oh, no spawns, wow, lucky me. But just to get it from level 3 to level 4, it might not be worth it, I'll be honest with you. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and open this door. See what is behind it? So far, so good. I'm still liking what I'm seeing. You run back. Oh, she didn't prevent the spawns. Yeah, she did not prevent the spawns. That's a bit annoying. A lot of spawns on her way as well. This is going to be a problem. Let's depower that. Power that. Thank you very much. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Not by much, because it's still only one small suicide, but it's still gonna be a problem. I could power this room as well. I will, in fact, do that and create some threats already, because otherwise I'll have to use food to heal up, you know. Oh no, I didn't notice those guys! Ah, oh, they're gonna instantly destroy my turrets. Oh well, that's not industry. I just threw out the window. It happens. Could be worse. It really could be worse. I'm still gonna need to heal her up. That's annoying. Alright, I will need to heal her up again. Oh boy. Yeah, it's getting a little bit more dicey now. I mean, the situation will not, but it's still fine. Prison prods, and I'm invisible now. Good. Alright, let's start the juggle. I'm not leaving this room. Uh -uh. Thank you very much. You, your kamikaze, can go wherever the F you want. I could care less. Look at how fast this guy is. Hold on, let's pause and look at him. Alright. No, 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 be careful. I almost got shot by too many things. There's a lot of things in this room. You may not be able to see them, but trust me, there are things. And actually, since things are getting a little bit dicey, I'm wondering if I should make this room a bit better and create power generators somewhere here. Can I even create a power generator here? Maybe not. But I could create one here and make this room secure. Yeah, in this case... Let's... Uh, 
make take it slow and steady in case those guys actually fire because I missed micromanage my hero. And start the pepper spray. Pepper spray is gonna pay off first. Like so, yeah, nice and easy, nice and easy. Oh, I just forgot. I don't actually have dust enough dust to power this room. Bit of a mistake. Oh well, I guess I'll lose the pepper spray now because I'm not keeping it alive. I can tell you that. Oh well, it is there. It's gonna be on mine for the monsters. So that's something I guess at the very least. Okay, let's fight for a second. I fought for long enough, I guess. Now let's go back and fight a bit more. Oh, I pepper sprayed the powerful monster. That's good. Run. Regain some more health. It's fine. Actually, let's get those guys out of here. Uh, the last guys that are in here are not really all that scary, so... Let's just kill them off, like so. They cannot hit me now. I hired me right now. Not really, at the very least. Alright, good. Oh, I see why I was regenerating health so slowly. Because I forgot to re-equip her with first aid kit. Guess it happens. Alright, this room... Prison Prods, thank you very much. Depower them too. Depower those too. And Purse. Purse? Put nurse in here, I meant to say, but I instead said Purse, which I don't know what it means, but whatever. Now, I know that by walking... Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna walk all the way over there, because I do need to waste food on keeping my hero alive if I walk for this far. Then again, then I can deep out all those rooms and part those rooms and make sure that she can regain her health. And it'll still be fine. I can do it. I think I can do it. How long until you're done? I don't know. You cannot click on it, unfortunately, to tell. Also, I think I can level her up. Yes, indeed I can. So, let's do just that for a bit of extra defense. And level 15, as you can, get, as you can see, sharpen and at level 3. It gets quite beastly, even on late game mobs. So, that's why you want it. And then I'll focus on leveling other heroes up. Either Nurse or the Coughing Lady. Potentially both. Alright, smoking gun unlocked. There's an item in there. Fine, you can stay in there for all I care. So far, so good. And mobs are spawning. They finished spawning now. So let's power this, those rooms. In fact, let's power rooms on the way to there so I can see what is coming. A bunch of suiciders. Not a very big deal. Should be more or less okay, I think. You were supposed to run back, you crazy bastard lady. In fact, use your healing ability because I have a feeling you're gonna need it. And very well abuse. Oh boy. Uh, overclock. Uh, heal? Yeah, let's not risk it. It's sand food. Yeah, I didn't need to use it, but I'm glad that I did, because if I didn't use it and lost my hero, I would be a dummy then, wouldn't I? Okay, I am gonna lose three industry. Honestly, I'm almost at the point of saying whatever. Oh, I just did lose seven industry. That's okay, though. No, 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 no. Get out of here. Ah, oh, okay. I lost everything. Whatever, I will just kill those guys the old-fashioned way. Alright, depart those rooms, since I, I can, and I can part another room in the back, I think. Yes, indeed I can, it's fine. Can you just die? Thank you, that was kind of you. Alright then, and let's put Nurse at the front, like always. I think we have a very, very stable situation in here right now. I'll of course recreate the, not the smoking gun, the prison pros in here. They're cheap and efficient-ish. At least good enough for when I juggle. And I forgot, is there... Yeah, there are more rooms in there, but I can open a room in there. Let's open the artifact, see what there is, and then I'll open one of those doors and see where what where it leads me to. Also, the sand station. Don't really need it. <sighs> Should I? It's sand created too. It barely pays off. I feel like land module could be better at this point. Let's make a land module, I think. Yeah, let's. Oh, need it, and it's increasing my defense by quite a lot. So let's go ahead and make it. It's gonna make my module survive for way longer, which is important. Something, something bracelets. Ah, it's the worthless ish item. It's not a bad item, extra defense and attack power. I can't think of a single hero I would put it on. They all have too high of attack cooldown, except for him, but seriously. Why would I want to give him six less weight? I don't know, but I can tell you that I do not want to do this. Alright, we've not we've landed a module. My turrets are pretty hard to kill, which makes me rather happy. Let's open a door. To the bottom, because this opening right is always stupid. What do I see? More dust, that's very nice. Let's see if I can potentially prevent any spawns in here. It looks like I did, so you can now run back. Let's depower those rooms. 
I'm not sure why I departed this many rooms. I don't need to do this. And I do need to keep my alarm module powered. Uh, you even opened this package. That's nice of you. But you didn't really need to do that. And let's create some prison present here. Will they be, ba will they be made on time? Uh, yes, I do not see any of those crystal guys that could destroy them just yet. So they should be made on time and do some work, which is nice. Good, smoking guns are doing what they're supposed to do, wreck havoc. And in here it should be fine. Crystal guys will be confused and kamikaze should be killed easily. Yeah, they all died. Good. Yeah, I really think I have this under control. I think this is a game winning run right now. Sure, I do not have a lot of food stockpiled and I have no science whatsoever, but my heroes are good enough. I have a good enough combination. My tech is quite good. Generators could be better, but I don't need good generators anymore. It's fine. It is a game winning run, I would say. Because I might eat my words later if I get a really bad flow at 12, which could happen. But, you know what I would say? Things are really, really good. Okay, let's repair everything I can. And let's think about our course of action, which is the same as always. Oh, I get even more dust, so I can open yet another door. That's nice. I will not open this door. Why? Because there could be a rhino. Are there rhinos on this level? No, I don't think there are. Are there? I don't remember. I haven't been on this floor all that much, as you can probably guess. But I don't think there are... I don't know. If there are rhinos, I do not want to give them the opportunity to instantly open a bag door to my base. This would instantly mean that I lost the game. So I'd rather be much more careful. I will make the sense creator, I think. I doubt it will pay for itself. I think I'll finish the game before I can even hope to get the smoking gun. But on the off chance I'm wrong, I'm gonna make it. So now I'm getting six cents per open door. And I still have plenty of doors to open before I find the exit, I think, so it's fine. Alright. Let's see what is there. <laughs> it probably is for you, dear lady. It probably is. So, spawn, 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 spawns. That's it. All the spawns just spawned. Which makes sense in my brain. Let's power this room. And uh, slow down the enemies. Make sure that they take as much damage as possible. You walk all the way to this room and start juggling the enemies, as always. Also, let's use sidestepping technique. Oh no, Vastnex are coming. Vastnex. Oh boy, that was close. <laughs> that was so close. How much does it cost to hit her now? Probably a lot. 10? Oh, that's not actually that bad. Anyway, run back a little bit because I need to feel a bit more secure. Okay. Uh, you have the right item, don't you? No, you don't. I knew something was wrong. She was regaining her health way too slowly for her lacking. My lacking, rather. Her lacking probably as well. I can't tell, but probably. Anyway. Ooh, he blew up. It's fine. Everything is still alive. It's mostly due to the land module. Although I think everything would still be alive. Even without the land module, but, you know, I'm glad I had it, regardless, because now I can pretend like it paid for itself. I don't think that the land module is worth it. What, what did I just say? Was I speaking English? Maybe not. Either way, I do think that uh, the land module is worth it, especially with emergency generators. Right now, I do not need to use emergency generators, which is like heaven for me, because usually... I mean, I think this is the first time ever I'm on floor 11 and I'm not relying purely on emergency generators to stay alive. I always have to have had to use them until now which is pretty great if you ask me I mean I haven't been in this good situation ever on this late floor so you go back over there oh no 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 you don't go back any further I'm not opening more doors in there no major module but that's okay you can't always win so far I've been really lucky with those backroom doors so yeah as I said I'm not gonna complain can I level up no I cannot her. That's something I learned recently, by the way, even though I played a lot. If your number on your hero thingy is white, you cannot level that hero up. If it's green, however, then yes, you can level your hero up. Just something for you to know. I never I never noticed because I'm not colorblind, I just have a bit of a problem with color sometimes, so I was never able to pick up on that until very recently somebody pointed this out for me. Alright, now unfortunately I will need to walk back a fair distance, but keep in mind I can use the power trick to make my hero immortal. So I'm not too overly concerned, thankfully. Should be still more or less fine. So let's go ahead and open this door, see what is behind this. Maybe the exit? That would be nice, because this would mean no spawns. And it's also quite close to the exit. Can I prevent the spawn? Yes. No spawns, in fact. Wow, that's incredible. 
Items are nice, but I would like a merchant. I know I had some already, but I would really like to sell. Oh, more nano bros. All right, are those better? Wow, that wit. Oh no, that's instead of those nano bros. Never mind. That's five HP regen. That's seven HP regen. So that's better. Let's have a look at another hero of nano bros. Oh, nobody else has nano bros. But this is just flat out better. Green fairy tales give him master hacker, which he doesn't need. Right? It's only for repairing. And it also gives more defense on modules, which is not really important. Yeah, nano bros for the win. They're really nice. Although, better than nano bros, I feel like I need to give them to her because, you know, more health regen. And so, there's that, and you, sir, you would actually lose with if I were to give those nano bros to you. But what about other heroes? You would have the same amount of weight, lose a bit of speed, but gain health regen, which is better, in my opinion. And where is the nurse? There she is. Oh no, I'm not repressing this thing. No way. But yeah, Battle of Injector, sorry, your usefulness has run its course. So there is that. Uh, you have the right item set up, right? Yes, first etiquette, nano bros, as much health regen as I can possibly get you. Alright, so far so good. I could use some of that, but it's okay. Now I have no choice but to open this door. Of course, I could open those doors over there, but then I will be forced to use emergency generators. I don't feel like I want to. Maybe there will be exit here. It's possible, but I think there's a lot more floor over there, unfortunately. Oh, a merchant. That's nice. That's really nice. What do you have? A button Aramani suit. That's nice, because it unlocks me first, so everybody would focus on the hero that wears the suit. But the thing is, right now with the current uh, setup of the mobs, I don't want this. Because what happens right now is I can juggle the mobs with her while the kamikazes walk to this room and die in here. Which is what I like actually. I like this to happen. Besides, I cannot equip the suit on Elise anyway, so I don't even know what I'm talking about. A really nice spear that I don't care about. Iron Fist, sure, but really, why would I give him that? It's not really a thing, a reason why I would want to do that. And a tutu. Uh, how about now? I can't suck him items though, which is good because I had a few too many. So sell that, sell that, sell that. Have a really nice stockpile of industry. I will never make an industry module ever again. <laughs> I lie. You know me. I will make those again. Besides, I will probably need them because it looks like now I'm actually in the territory where I do need to create emergency generators, unfortunately. So it's slowly but surely making my way back. Maybe now I'll find the exit. It is possible. It's very unlikely. I think there's a lot more to this room, floor rather. That I haven't discovered that is over there because 26 doors opened, only floor 11. That's not actually a lot, and it worries me slightly. Not deeply, I'm not terrified either, but it does worry me slightly. Either way, let's open this door and see what I can find. I really hope nothing is gonna open this door because this would be the worst item. All right, any spawns? Of course, there are. How many? A few. Soul Taker. I would love to sell it to the merchant, but merchant is gonna die. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do about that all the spawns are now gone yes they are so i can retreat and power back the other rooms good so let's start dishing out some damage Ooh, this could be kind of quite bad uh let's just put it this way still okay can i level her up to get sharp analyzer yes indeed i can i will have barely any food left but i'll get sharp analyzer level three which i do need looks like for this wave so let's keep on walking along, and as soon as I enter this room, I'm gonna use Sharp Analyzer, I think. Yeah, Sharp Analyzer, I missed everything. Didn't deny. Yes, I did. Alright, you, Parabius in this, you, Overclock, because there is a lot of kamikazes in this room. Alright, I think the Overclock saved me right there. Good. I did waste Sharp Analyzer, it happens. I'm okay with that to a certain extent. I'm not gonna use my other ability. I'm saving the turtle ability for when I need to fight in a very uncomfortable area. A dangerous area, rather. Not necessarily uncomfortable, although it probably would be pretty uncomfortable, all things considered. Double kamikaze? Are uh, they gonna blow up, aren't they? Yeah, they are. But I can survive one blow up. It's not gonna be much. It's okay. Alright, so one kamikaze died. The other one will blow up. But things are still fine. So it's fine. And you can now fight. You're a powerful, beastly lady. You're level 15, you can take everything on, right? Just kill those bastards. As long as they, did, as they don't destroy my modules. Yeah, it will be fine. Okay, let's repair them. Like so. 
Uh, is the match on the life? No, of course not. But it was, you know, there's no way I'm keeping, keeping the soul taker. Besides, if I am an insane dummy and I lose a hero, I'll be able to give the soul taker to the chef. So that's something, I guess. All right, power this room, power this room as well. Keep the nest side. <coughs> Poor Nares, always waiting outside. Man, there has to be a really big connection. I mean, or rather, how is it called? The place where there's a lot of doors in one room over there, because this is a really weird room layout right now. In a way, it's not too bad. Let's open some more doors. And two doors in the room. Okay, not three, but I was, but okay. So pad room, which is absolutely amazing as well. More spawns, more spawns, way more spawns. And the spawns are now done. All right. Oh, I forgot to create turrets over here. And there are crystal guys coming in as well, so I cannot create those turrets in there just yet. This would be pretty dumb if I did that just right now. A lot of kamikazes coming. That is a problem, I'm not gonna lie. I might have to use the smoke ability, I'm afraid. I will... No, 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 that's the wrong ability! Ah, too late now. Smoke engaged. I will need the smoke badly because otherwise I will lose too many modules. She, in fact, might die anyway because of the kamikazes, but that's why I use the smoke. The smoke is a really powerful damaging ability. You stay in this room for... Ooh! That was too close. Let's use double heals just because I don't trust myself not to see that. That's why I use power heals. Alright, this thing's got really dicey right there. That's more kamikazes. Her uh, smoking thing is too active, so there's that. I should have used Chaplain as I think, maybe. In fact, I think I'm gonna run with her now. And that's another kamikaze. Holy F, so many of them. Okay, I'll stay in the room now because it looks like the kamikazes are going past. She is fine. She's taking everything, asking no questions. He is gonna blow up somewhere, and I don't care about that, really. Uh, you be careful, but you should be fine. Yeah, she's fine. I don't have to worry about that. Turrets in here are fine as well, so I can fight in this room, it's okay. <laughs> Look at that synergy! Juggling for the win, huh? <sighs> Alright, I spent a ton of food, but it's not like I had any choice. It's not like I could have legged it earlier. Alright, what can I uh, or do? What do I want to create in this room? Uh, my food would be nice indeed. Since I'm using it and whatnot. Sure, I'm spending a lot of industry on that, but even if I gain only 5 food from this, it's still worth it in my book. 60 industry for 5 food at this state of the game? Yes. Any day of the week. Any day of the week. Also, I need to recreate the turrets over there so I avoid stupid situations again in the future. I might actually make smoking guns now. I feel like I'm at the point where it's worth it, even though they cost more industry. I have so much industry, and this was too dicey, I lost too much food, so... Smoking guns. I'm making those. I should have made a terror gas to it, since I made the smoke guns. Whatever, it happens. So there's that. You, the lady, you're gonna have to open this door over there. You have more wit? What? How did that happen? Uh, you've got 17 wit. No, they both have 17 wit, that's how it happened. Oh, also, you do have the first aid kit. Oh, that's good to know, huh? I keep forgetting this. It's kind of annoying, but I guess it happens. All right, then. Let's open the door. Exit? Of course not. It's not gonna be... <gasps> I opened the door to the right. Crucial mistake. I never do it. Okay. Mob spawn. FUZ is up here. It's exactly the same as the one I already had. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna replace it for Widowmaker. I'm not dumb. Thank you very much. So you run back as quickly as you can. You also run back. Mobs finished spawning. Okay, now I can activate the smoke guns. Good. Smoke guns are really, really nice against the, the kamikazes because they prioritize kamikazes. And of course, they also fire really quickly, which is good against the faster kamikazes. Wow. In fact, the sound in the game is back. Oh, wait, what happened? I don't know, but she took a lot of damage. Uh, run, the lady. I would rather not lose you. Thank you very much. It's annoying I had to use food to heal her up, but it's okay. It's a bit of food I had to use, and I'm getting 33 per 10, so it's okay. You stay in this room and just fire. Man, I cannot even... I wonder if it's recording properly, because I cannot hear any sound effects of 
mobs being damaged right now or threats firing. There's just too much of it and the game cannot handle it. It's kind of funny and amusing. Alright. Now this is why I level up small guns to level 304. They are level 4 now, right? Yes, that's why they are so powerful. On lower levels, not as amazing. Especially not on later floors, but now they're kind of nice. Alright, still no exit, but it's not going poorly. I am running low on areas that I can power, though, which is a bit of a problem. So I put you over here, and I'm gonna create an emergency generator in here, maybe. Yes or no? No, I can run back with this lady and stay in this room to prevent the spawns, so that will be good enough. Maybe later I'll create an emergency generator. Maybe. I'll see. This could be an exit, though, and if it is, then, you know... Wait! I've got more dust! I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I mean, I didn't notice. Not a... It's not like I forgot, I just didn't notice. Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Nothing here, just mob spawning, and that's it. Alright, I need to get out of here quickly, so... Sharp analyzer. Almost enough to kill everybody. You! Run, the lady. Run. Activate that door. Nice. Woohoo! Last second pause match? Certainly, yes. Wow. The fact I'm gonna activate the paramedic because that was. that scared me so much. <laughs> okay, you please hurry up killing those mobs. I'm not gonna power this room. I don't need to. You are doing just fine. Not quite, dear lady. Overclock for the win. Oh boy. Yeah, you know what? I unlocked Infirmary Pod, that's nice, huh? I never killed anybody this much? That makes no sense. Really? You know what? It actually does make a bit of sense. <laughs> you wanna know why? Because I always do not heal my heroes when I'm really, really supposed to. That's why I never unlocked the Infirmary Pod be uh, before, because I'm too... Oh, yeah. I never heal in this situation, which is stupid, but yeah. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yeah, heal again. I deserve this infirmary pod now. Oh boy, I need the exit. I need the exit. I need the exit. Alright, I'm safe now. I'm safe now. I'm safe now. Alright. <sighs> I have to say I was really scared. Alright, I'm gonna lose all the small guns in there. It's fine. I'm gaining more than enough industry to make up for this. And they are doing the job. Okay, did she leave the room per se? No, she did not, so that's good. You kill those bastards, please, because they were really mean to me last time. Okay, nice. Kill this bastard now, and also start to prank to it, because why not? Well, things got a little bit scary in there, but it could have been worse. Let's just put it this way, it could have been worse, but I did waste a ton of food. Not waste, I mean, I saved a hero, so it's not really what I would consider a waste, but you know what I mean. I don't think there is a major mod in here, is there? So, a quick check. No, there is not. Big problem, but I think I have enough dust. Yes, I do. So, I can create a major, uh, major generator in here if I need to. Because, keep in mind, I can run back to this room and prevent mobs from spawning. So, there is that. You go in here. And I'll need to re recreate some smoking turrets. And, in fact, what I'll also need to do is probably place a few more as well. Like in here, for example. So let's recreate smoky guns here. And uh, maybe smoky guns in here as well. I'm I'm putting the research station in danger, yes, but I think it's worth it. Terra gas. Pepper spray and small guns. No, just small guns. Because pepper spray is not gonna do much. Pepper spray is for later rooms, small guns is for earlier. To we can to soften the enemy up. The enemy up. Honestly, if I had five, then this would be a no-brainer. In fact, I kind of wish I m have made a pepper spray in here, but it's okay. The problem with pepper spray and small guns is that they both counter each other because pepper spray targets a mob that is also usually targeted. Oh yes, the exit, nice. I just made a lot of turrets though, but I'm not making. I'm sorry, I'm not making an emergency generator in here. I'm just not. I'm lacking it because I'm smarter than this. Yes? Yes. That is a smart idea. That's what I'm gonna do. So first things first. It is a bit of a shame that those threads would be worthless, but hey... I think escaping now is the smart choice. Oh! Two more doors and I have Pepper Spray 4, guys! Not... Worth it. Really? I kinda feel like it is. 
Let's see. No, I would have to make uh, an emergency drainer here or make a bunch of turrets in here. And open this door as well. No, not worth it. I'm lagging it, thank you very much. Good effing bye. Uh, let's keep the land model part, thank you very much. Alright, everybody, get to the exit room, and I'm not even gonna stand in any dark rooms either. Who's the fastest? Uh, you or Pivot? You have 29 speed, you have 34, so you're gonna carry the crystal. Alright. Pretty good! Pretty good, I'm not gonna complain about anything. I wish I was able to make this research, but it's okay. I wasted a ton of industry just now on making those turrets, but I don't regret it. Better to be safe than sorry, it's something I have finally learned in this game. Finally. It took me forever to learn my own lesson, take my own lesson to heart rather, but I did it. I did it and I'm happy about it. Also mobs can spawn in here, which is a bit of a pickle, but it should be okay. Even if they do spawn, my hero should be fast enough. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Those guys are gonna catch up to me though. Yeah, they are gonna catch up to me and they're gonna kill me. Uh, okay, everybody but him. Cover him. Uh, chef is dying, isn't it? Yeah, the chef is dying, it's fine. Sorry, Chef, I really like you. Uh, you're one of my favorite heroes, but you're gonna have to die. Is everybody in the room? Now there is, yes, and I can exit. Good! Surprisingly good and easy flow 11. I'm not gonna complain about that. Now the question is, is that the end of the conversation? Uh, here or is it just still not yet? Uh, yada yada yada. <laughs> yep. 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 And yeah, that was enough to unlock a secret. Nice. Nice. Really nice. Got enough industry to survive flow 12. Well, a decent amount of food. Enough science to get a research if I get a research station later on. Boof. Honestly, I don't need it. I got this. I think I've got this. Let's have a quick look at what I unlocked. I have unlocked the ability. Oh, it's the same. It's the stimulated ability. Extra speed and extra defense. Well, on her, the speed is gold like because I do need to have her to give her more speed because I'm using her as my door opener. And also extra defense on her. Yes. Much better ability than the one that Hikensha and Mitsi had. Much better. Anyway, I'm gonna win this, I think. It was Panchasso, also known as the Mighty Mix Spammer. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you online.